Varmt välkommen till Fantastisk Hälsa. Mitt namn är Johan Äckle. Jag är kock och matentreprenör. Och mitt namn är Cecilia Fjust. Jag är specialistläkare i Sverige samt i Integrative och Functional Medicine i USA. Och jag heter Nils Per Skåra. Jag är performance coach, kostnadsvägledare och idrottsutövare. Och med den här podcasten ska vi hjälpa och inspirera dig på vägen mot en fantastisk hälsa. Yes, då är vi tillbaka igen. Och idag ska vi prata med en person som är väldigt viktig för oss i Fantastisk Hälsa. Och det är mannen bakom kameran, Mariano Garcia. Det är han som producerar vår podcast. Eh, och Mariano pratar spanska. Och är inte så eh, duktig på varken svenska eller norska. Så att vi väljer att ta den här episoden på engelska. Så so welcome Mariano. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, yeah, so you're the producer of this uh, podcast. Yeah, I'm I'm the guy behind the lens, behind the computer yes, right now. That's right. And uh, you're also a chef, so we know each other. So we both have a big interest for food. Yeah. That's important to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really big interest for food, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what we should talk about today is something quite interesting. Yeah. Because uh, uh, one thing that we want to do more uh, with the Fantastic Hälsa in the future is event and retreats that's one big dream for us mm-hmm. uh, and uh, of course you want to have as good retreat as possible with a lot of details and i have had uh, a lot of events and a lot of uh, retreats before but uh, this dream starts to come become a little bit closer because you have bought your own place yeah um yeah everything is going really fast yeah. it's like uh, we have this project for a long time we wanted to have our own sustainable place where it's zero waste and completely um not 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 exactly that it can sustain by itself but as as much as possible with solar panels our compost farm uh, our, our growing our vegetables having our chickens and also want to have retreats because we like to share that's good. But uh, one thing, where is this place? That's a little bit important to say first. This place is in, in Lidia. Lidia is in Valencia. It's like 20 minutes from from the airport, 30 minutes to the city. It's 30 kilometers from Valencia, from the beach till till, till the actual place. Um, it's really good location. And that's in Spain. For the, that's the... in Spain. And it's a little house. It's a little house. It's a little town. Uh, but it has even the, the subway that arrives to to the town. So great, great communication uh, is um, is one of the most um, famous music towns in, in the world. In fact, has the has the one of the oldest music schools in the world. It's called La Primitiva, the primitive one, and is uh, now into the. Uh, um, World global heritage of culture, so it's it's quite it's quite nice. It has uh, a lot of things around. It has like three natural parks with hikings and and creeks and horse riding. Uh, it's it's a great. Yeah, it's a dream place. It's a great place. Yeah, because uh, when I'm looking for a place to do events, I want to do as much cool thing as possible. Mm-hmm. Before um, uh, me and my girlfriend have uh, had uh, like a surf uh, jog event in Peru and uh, but with this place it's so much uh, possibilities yeah. because you have the mountains for um, uh, for example for hiking or mountain biking that i love or maybe horse ri- riding like you said mm-hmm. and like you said you have the beach 30 minutes away mm-hmm. with the great uh, kite surfing and uh, normal surfing and uh, yes yeah, so I, I think it's, it's a really cool and also it's good that this is a little bit away from the big city it's yeah. out in uh, yeah yeah it's a it's a in fact it's the last house before the the hills and the natural park yeah. so it's it's with no luminic con- uh, contamination so by night you see all the stars everything no noise around it is high from it's really close from the town really close from the highways but at the same time it's kind of hidden between the the mountain and the valley 
so it's it's really 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 nice spot and as you said you have 30 minutes to the beach when uh, it's perfect for kite surfing and, and windsurf um it's like another one hour and a half till the ski resorts in winter uh, literally you walk outside and you can start hiking and it's it's, it's a, a great activity you can do around this is so so cool yeah, so we are not now planning to how we can create the dream retreat with everything we love on one spot. Yeah, it's a, we have this idea so of have a, a yoga retreat with a big shala and a small shala. Um, one, the big shala will be uh, surrounded by by um, the, I don't know how exactly how you say it in, in, in England. Now I have this this yeah. mix of languages in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where you grow our vegetables, like yeah. the fields. Yeah. Yeah. So we put like a big shade uh, area to, to have open air shala. And then we will have four little um, apartments. Well, apartments, no, little chalets, little pre-made houses. Yeah. That will have a their own bathroom, like kitchenette and, and bedroom and, and things like that. And on top, we have a lot of, another shala and an open office. So, so shala for the people who don't know what that is, that's a place where well, you can practice yoga. You practice yoga, yeah. yeah it's a uh, well, yoga. Yeah, basically, yeah, it's called yeah. shala for for yoga, but you can use it for any any other purpose. Because um, we want to also make workshops. Uh, as you said, I'm I'm also chef, so I want to make like from the ground to the table. So I want to bring people in and realize where the where the food comes from and what food is um, sustainable to eat more than just go to the supermarket and start, ah, today I want this, I want chicken, I buy half chicken. That's not the way to do this. Um, promoting a local um, growing. In, in this case, it's Valencia, so you have a lot of rice and Luckily, we have a lot of uh, friends that are expert in, in rice and they grow their own rice, for example. Or uh, the orange fields, we have, we're surrounded by orange fields and how to interact with them so the waste is minimum and the profit will be better for the for the farmers in this case. Uh, that uh, is for, for the food. Yeah, but you're also going to have a lot of things yourself. Yeah, we will uh, we will offer, of course, production um uh, audio and video. I would think about the, the food. You're gonna, you're gonna. You're gonna oh yeah, I have a lot of farm with farm a lot of things. So, so. Yeah, I have so much, so much ideas. I want to make all the fermenting thing that you introduced me to, yeah. that I love to. Uh, and I have a lot of different vegetables. Yeah, and and mainly is to focus in local growing. Yeah. So we cannot even. I love to have a cinnamon tree. I would love to have a cinnamon tree. It won't happen. Because we don't live in the area that will happen. That's is we have to adapt to, to the climate and to the area we're growing. So we will have a strawberry trees that, if people doesn't know what it is, is an amazing fruit, an amazing tree. It's really beautiful and the fruit is really really special. Um, um probably mango trees, peach, um, uh, almonds. What kind of vegetables? Vegetables, you can plant almost everything. Luckily, we have lots of water. This is a, in a dry area, but we have a lot, a lot, a lot of water. So we can, we can then again focus in local uh, growing, introducing the most um, similar to the to the local area. So kale, uh, artichokes, carrots, uh, tomatoes, paprika, zucchini. All these these crops that we can grow really easy and and, and it, because it's the climate that it that it is, yeah. and with that I start making a workshop of how you can cook with the things that you usually take as a side dish. You can make main dish with people with with people make a side dish. I want to make a salad and I will have rice aside. No, I mean in this area in Valencia, but particularly we have the rice like a main rice like a main dish. We have the paella and we have a lot, a lot of kind of rices like yeah. fish synaps, uh, uh, banda. It's a lot, a lot of dishes too. And also chickpeas and legumes. So you can produce your own, um, not only the, the carbs that you need and also the proteins that you need and plant-based. I'm not vegetarian or vegan, but I believe in the, in the, the plant-based is the future. 
So the only way you can eat meat is a sustainable way. I mean, in this case, if it sounds a little bit harder, but as I told you many times, uh, if you want to eat meat, you have to kill it yourself. You, it's not just that. It's like then you will feel something that don't want you to kill that animal. And with one chicken, you can make four meals. And you don't need more than that uh, a month, something like that. So that's what I mean that with you kill your own animals. I don't, nobody kills a cow to have a ribs. Because what do you do with the rest of the cow? So that's the only way that I think is sustainable to eat meat. Therefore, I eat less meat, less meat that I used to, way, way, way less. And, and it's the same with the, with, the, with the food that you grow. You won't chop a tree just to have a, one, one apple, oh, right? Okay. It's exactly the same with the animals. Yeah. So that's what the principles that we want, I want to teach in this, in this place as a food related. That's very good. And I come with all my knowledge of the nutrition facts and everything. So I'm looking forward to cook with you there. That would be crazy. And that's the thing. The, the great thing we made is like, I'm really old school in yeah. cooking. Are you improving all this? Oh, you know, we make these things. And that's, that's the, we'll do the fun part yeah. of this. So my the food should be playful. The food the should be, exactly. <laughs> is, is the best part of it. And, and food bring, bring people together. So the deal is to make a really long table under the trees with lights to, by night and things and a little bar at the end. We want to put a tiki bar to make it a little bit more exotic. And, and it will be for breakfast in open air in, in summer and, and dinners by night. And the same that we did in the last retreat we worked together is like we educate people of how to eat or what they're eating. And, and bring people together. And the, the, the concept of this is to bring people together and, and educate them to, to make their life easier and happier. No matter, no matter how, what background you have, no matter how social you come from, that, that's open for everyone. And that, that's, that's the goal. Also, and that's food related. Uh, I'm, I'm already designing the kitchen. You will love it. Open a kitchen with like open door. Like, so looking forward maybe you can come with some ideas as well and put a bar here the on the side to to for teaching and, and the workshops and, and things like this and then we have a pool a huge pool with natural water that means that we don't use any chemicals we don't use any chlorine any nothing because the same water is the water we use to water the fields yeah, that's, that's very good. So in the moment that uh, you can jump in the water, you can swim, you can whatever. And when you need to clean the water, you just open and you water the fields with that. That if it's dirty, it has already the, the, the parts that will be good for the, for the fields. And then you fill it up again. So that's, the, that's how it is work now. Maybe we'll change in the future, but how, that's how it works now. Sounds smart, I think. We'll put a, a sauna, we'll put a, a floating tank, a privation of a uh, floating tank. This is when you float and, and yeah, you... Yeah, try it. It's uh, really good. Yeah, th that you, yeah, we have to have that. We need that for the dream retreat. We need a floating tank, yeah. No, no, we, we have it already. We have it already because my, my stepdad is, uh, is has part of a company that floating uh, tank. So he's yeah. the first thing he said, yeah, you put a floating tank. We put a floating tank. And... And also uh, live music. We have a lot of um, friends that, that have bands and, and jazz bands and everything. So we have some some really cool cool events. Yeah, really looking forward. So when we come with the whole Fantastic Health uh, team, with uh, me, Nils, and Cecilia, mm -hmm. we have yeah, of course you and me gonna cook. So we're gonna cook crazy food, mm -hmm. really healthy, really tasty. It's gonna be like workshop with Cecilia, so people can learn about. Uh, the epigenetics and all these kind of things. And uh, Neil's also going to workshop, but also some uh, movement uh, practice. So I think, uh, and uh, uh, my girlfriend, uh, Iris, she's the yoga teacher. So yeah, the whole yeah, team, so the, the team is uh, set. So we talked with Terje yesterday for massage and, and, and naturopaths and yeah, yeah we're going to con co co uh, connect and collaborate with uh, really good people to create yeah, our dream retreats. That's the whole. Uh, and also, and also, we have a lot of contacts in Valencia too to to contact with um, different kinds of um, you know, of yoga and healers and mental trainings, and also contacts in LA 
So it's, it's basically bring the, the Fantastic Health concept and, and the people from Fantastic Health to have an option to, to go to, to Spain and, and enjoy these retreats. Yeah, I think it, I don't think, I know it will be amazing. So, and, and the one who follow us now and uh, see this on uh, YouTube, can they see the, the place in the background? See a little bit of it. Yeah. So the one who see this on uh, YouTube, we post uh, all the episodes on YouTube as well. You can see a little bit of the location. So here it will be some uh, buildings and stuff, but now it's it's a really cool place to see the pool. It's two houses, it's a lot of gardens. There's a lot of other like free areas in the background that where you're gonna plant as well, right? Yeah, we'll plant uh, in in the back area. We'll plant the trees and some low crops, and also big shala and three uh, greenhouses oh. with the um, shape of igloo, because it prevents the winds and and it's sustainable. And and then we put a lot of uh, solar panels and yeah, the, the the idea is to make it as clean and and less footprint as possible. And also the zero waste. I mean, I don't throw away anything. The compost will be made of uh, our, our waste of food, and and we will maybe talk with the farmers around if they have any any cows or any horses, and and pick up the literally pick up shit <laughs> from them. It's, it's very good for vegetables. Yeah, it's, also it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so really that we, I want to make a, a a compost center that will be pretty big. I think. But that way, I have control of uh, the, what we what we grow, so on as less chemicals as possible, and and it's like a, make a, a cycle. When if we have any any bugs, anything, it's like let the chicken go and eat the bugs, and try to compensate one thing or another in the in the the level we can. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's and then we put an open cinema by night. With, oh yeah, it's just so it's, much. It's a lot of great plants, and it's so much thing you can do around the place as well. And a lot of work. Of course, but yeah, a lot of work. We help out. We start in a small scale, and then we, yeah, yeah. we're growing this up. Yeah, yeah. It'll be awesome. But uh, yeah, so if you listen to this and you think this sounds amazing, I hope that you come and visit us for our event. Yeah. So, is it something more you want to say about the place? I think we have said most of the thing. Yeah. Well. We just signed the deposit of the place and everything is still in there because we have to uh, manage the permissions and, and, and look for the access to, to with the cars and things. But yeah, it's, we maybe start with events from next year. Or yeah, probably. We, yeah. We, we need at least six months to build the, the houses and, and clean the, the fields and make it nice and proper. But yeah, next year will be the, the time to start have a guest and have a great experience. It's yeah, and we're going to start to plan already. And uh, like one uh, important thing for Fantasy Elsa is to have events. Yeah. So we look into a lot of events uh, spots in Norway too. Mm -hmm. We have some really interesting uh, things going on there. But so we're going to practice our events. And when we come to this place, yeah. we're ready and we tried the different things. What's worth And it's also the, the cultural option we have. Is, since we have in a big city that since is Valencia, we have a, a lot of, um, we're really close to, to town, to the city. So we have a lot of uh, cultural um, excursions we can make and, and show people around. Yeah. Not yes, if we can, we can offer, not just the, the retreat of nature and, and think we can also offer culture. And as you said, the surf and the sports. So it's a it's a great, great location. I'm, I'm really, really excited. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward. I just want to go down there and check it out and yeah. try the pool and... Uh, and sweat it, out, sweat it out. <laughs> sweat it out, yeah. <laughs> just go for it. Oh, sounds cool. But okay, so probably from next year, we can uh, have the first fantastic Helsa event in this location what's the name of the location a uh, sun ray village sun ray village uh, basically because the the fence has the side has the shape of a sun with rays coming out of it okay. yeah. and it's something that gives really good energy really good feeling yeah. so yeah sun ray village yeah so 
uh, now it's uh, yeah some month until you can come to event but uh, you're gonna post a little bit uh, photos from here and uh, you have a uh, Instagram account yeah I just opened it like Instagram account literally like five minutes ago okay. <laughs> so there's no photos yet oh. but I'm I'm leaving uh, tomorrow to Spain so I will make some videos and some photos next week and we start uploading things of the progress of how build the, the place from scratch basically cool. what's the name of the instagram account sandre village yeah so we're gonna we're gonna post uh, on our instagram as well so you can you can find it from there and uh, also uh, when we're up with this event we're gonna post it on our homepage, fantastic mm -hmm. uh, dot com. Uh, so you can see the event you can see a little bit more of the the place there we will post some uh, videos so you can see how it looks and everything there yeah we'll follow up the, the development of how to make it happen that's very cool the building up the the sweating the cleaning up the fields the Behind planting the yeah <laughs> yeah, so, yeah all the process yeah so i'm gonna repost it on uh, fantasy health as well so you can see the process there so i really looking forward it's gonna be crazy good i know so yeah just follow and see and uh, we will update you with the uh, good news and sunny sunny spain yeah, cool. <laughs> so thank you very much for uh, this i know this has been a dream for you for many many years mariana yeah. and uh, it's cool that uh, i can do something for you there as well and do some uh, cool things together. i mean i'll i'll be coming back and forward from from Spain probably coming once a month to to record all the episodes that we can and 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 going back there to bring things up bring things there so yeah you, you will be or it will be kind of the same dynamic but with more 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 th things to tell yeah more fun that's good okay thank you so much Mariano anytime so, yeah we maybe take you back when uh, for another episode when we should talk about some funny we can record something from the retreat or something yeah but we can do some some zoom podcast yeah. from, from this it'll be great nice okay so thank you so much and have a wonderful day so now i change to swedish again yeah. uh there was some thought with mariano och vår planlagda dröm retreat so they can be helt sjukt bra så den som vill hänga med på det så bara följ med oss i sociala medier så ser du massa information där. Eh, då är det dags att runda av för idag och eh, nästa vecka så ska vi få till ett samtal med Cecilia om något spännande. Det får du höra med om då. Tack för idag! Tack för att du satt av tid att lyssna på vad vi hade att säga. Vi vill också tacka vår nya samarbetspartner nummer 5 huset på Vinden i Oslo. Här spelar vi in vår podcast och här kommer också mycket spännande event i framtiden. Du kan följa med på vår hemsida fantastiskhälsa.com eller på vårt Instagram-konto som är fantastisk hälsa i ett ord där du får mer info om kommande avsnitt. Ha en fantastisk dag!